John, in a situation where the human resource manager or indeed any manager in an organisation becomes aware of potential workplace bullying and does nothing about it, what can happen? What are the ramifications? It's really quite important that... Uh, it's really quite important that uh, employers and employers both recognise their obligations uh, to provide a safe working environment. So the employer has obligations, so do each and every one of the employees. So mm. If an employee observes inappropriate behaviour, they have an obligation to report that, just as they have an obligation if, for instance, they uh, discovered a trip hazard and, and didn't report that, and then somebody subsequently ended up injuring themselves. Okay, so what would the ramifications be um, if the unfortunate happened, the workplace bullying claim was uh, put up and subsequently upheld? What could the ramifications to that HR manager be? Well, once again, uh, under the OHS legislation, uh, people can be individually uh, liable mm -hmm. uh, for, for fines. Uh, and also uh, so can the organisation and they can be quite significant. The other thing is that I suppose as a HR practitioner uh, if you've presided uh, in a HR sense over an organisation that has allowed bullying to continue uh, it can provide uh, irreparable damage to your reputation as a practitioner mm. and uh, I think you know, there have been circumstances which have been reported in the media where there has been a claim of bullying harassment which might have gone to Fair Work Australia or perhaps the Magistrates Court and there's been open criticism of the way the company handled it and in particular the way in which the HR manager had responded to the matter. Now, I don't think anybody likes to be publicly criticised in that matter, it's fairly very limited. I imagine so. John, insightful as always, thank you for joining us here at IHR today.